Hello everybody and welcome. Uh, we are at Keith Finn's place, which is the car carer. Yep. And it's in deepest Essex. Do you know roughly where in Essex we are? Uh, we are, um, it's... No. Is no, no. No. Um, okay, Essex. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> So Essex, um, Whitton, and Whitton, just outside Whitton, yes, just Whitton. Whitton. Bonus. Um, uh, we've spent all day talking about leather. Rich, well, Rich is so much of the talking, yep. and uh, there have been sort of half a dozen, a dozen people here um, learning about the uh, leather repair company, about Roborns, about the processes and um, the ways to clean and dye leather and treat it, and all the rest of it, which has been fascinating. Um, and I've been sort of sitting in the shadows as ever with a camera like a weirdo. And um, one thing that I thought would be really, really interesting for both professionals and enthusiasts would be to learn about the different types of leather. And as you can see in front of us, we have what appears to be a big stash of leather. And in fact, some of them are leather, some of them aren't. Mm. Um, and so I just wanted to run through the different types. So we're going to start with this sexy black one. Um, tell me about this, Richard. Basically, this is pigmented. Um, several names, pigmented, corrected, painted, coated. It has many different names. Um, it is just a pigmented leather. It's what you get mainly in car interiors. It is the most common one in there. And it's just a, a leather with a painted surface. So it's a nutshell. real cow. Yep, real cow. Yep, or horse. Could be either one or of those. Or horse. Yeah, yeah. It's yep. horse so yeah, yeah. you might have yeah, horse. It's regular. Yeah, yeah, you could have horse. As well uh, yeah. as horse power. Yeah, 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 yeah. as well as horse power. Yeah, yeah. Good one. So, yeah. So, I mean, you could have more horses than what you expect. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's just a coated leather. It's painted. That okay. is it. It's literally. And that, so, that texture is, is horse or cow texture. It's not been put yeah. in artificially. Yeah, that's been, no, that has actually been put in. It's heated in. So, it's artificially put in. That would have been taken from something originally made bigger and it's put in by a heat press. Hence it's consistent yes. and you yes. don't get all the scars yes. and stuff. Exactly. So the scars are gone, yeah. And so this is when you ask for leather and you actually get real leather, that's most likely what you're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite often what was interesting was this little stash here, this is vinyl. Yes. And now yeah. vinyl is it's not something you put on a record player apparently. Apparently it's something that was totally trending in the seventies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't know. But, no, um, okay. But, no, no, but, no, no, okay. My um, agree. <laughs> so just about this is this had no animals were harmed in the making of this. No, no, completely um, fake, false, it's plastic, it's vinyl. Um, good way to tell these two in a car, if you don't ever know, is this is obviously when you feel this in a car and you rub it, mm -hmm. it feels a lot stiffer than what this does, which is actually quite stretchy. Leather won't stretch. Also, the temperature. Even though we've been in here all day, mm -hmm. this still feels cold. very cold compared to this. Hence why, back in the day, cavemen would wear a leather suit. It okay. actually keeps you warm. So basically, yeah. if you're not sure, rub it, and if it gets firm and warm, then that's that's probably yeah, yeah. real. Yeah, gotcha. yeah definitely. So because this this builds, this won't stretch. This is very plasticky and stretchy. And what was interesting, you were saying how quite often on the front of the car seat, you might well get the real stuff. Yep. And then on the back side, they'll have the the, the vinyl. So yeah, 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 you yeah. You have that blend, and they can yes. make it look All the same colours. Yeah, yeah. You can make it. You, if if you're good enough. You, you will see a very just a slight difference in the colours from the vinyl, which is the sides and the back, and mm. th this was from the Jaguar. Mm. Um, but you will find like the sides and the backs are vinyl on the majority of cars, and it's just the front facings that are um, the real leather, which the is this leather. one. Um, and, and then sometimes you might find that it's just the central inserts that are the real deal, and the actual bolsters, even the front facing mm. upper, are actually fake as well. And is this more resilient than real leather, or is it about the same? Or? It's about the same. Um, it's obviously a hell of a lot cheaper, mm -hmm. um, and that's why they obviously put it in the vehicles. Oh, I hear cows like it better too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So moving on, because yep. I know we, we can talk about, well, well, Rich can talk about that oh, for yes. a long time, yeah. and, and, and I've worn a lot of leather in the past, <laughs> so. Um, this stuff is lovely. This is, I believe, aniline leather. Yes. Silky. Now, there's a, a lot going on. Aniline is, well, describe what aniline is for a start. Basically, aniline is completely natural. The, this is a painted surface. Mm -hmm. Injected plastic with a paint with a you know, injected plastic colour. This is completely dyed through. So this is dyed right the way through. So there's no surface coating on the aniline whatsoever. Anything that gets on it will just soak in. Literally hence, like a hence that if you put water on, on the top of yeah. aniline, it'll mark it. And yeah. that in fact you were saying is a really good way of spotting spotting real yeah. aniline yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. as opposed to yeah. um, top coat leather. Yeah, because top, yeah, because that would be like a paint, you know, that would be like a polished car. Yeah. Water's gonna sit on the surface, on these, it's gonna soak straight in. So you know. Now there's a lot of rumours, because this is obviously for things like posh handbags and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. it's still made out of it. Absolutely. But cars, yeah. mm. very rarely do cars have aniline in. Very rarely, um, yeah. I was told that a couple cars in the 50s and before did mm -hmm. for high-end cars. Yep. Um, however, you were explaining how cars have been re-trimmed, money no object, yep. Yep. are quite often put with Yeah, yeah. they can have those in cars that are re-trimmed, no object, yeah. So I mean a lot of Daimlers, when they were manufactured originally, um, had these in. Mm -hmm. And I think even some of them are back 
maybe 80s to be added in, to be fair, um, in some of the Daimlers. Um, Daimlers were quite common to have those in aniline materials, but you also get them in things like Maybex and stuff like that, because it's the aesthetics with grabbing the handles when you get in, you've got this luxury vehicle, you grab this, and you can feel, because I mean it is, it's like silk, isn't it? It is absolutely it's, stunning. It's very nice. Um, and, and it's that aesthetics that feel, that go, the triggers go through your mind um, of grabbing full quality, mm -hmm. armrests, stuff like that. Yeah. They, they All the touchy feel of it. Yeah, touchy yeah. feel of it. And so <laughs> in terms of um, where this comes from the cow, because I, I keep on using the example of cow, because I don't like yeah. the idea of cutting a horse up. Um, yeah. But it, they've got quite thick skins. Yes. And so yeah. they take this from kind of middle of the skin? Yeah, the sort of, yeah, sort of middle from the skin. Yeah, this is higher up. This yeah. is at the top, so yeah. higher up, the further out. Yes. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah, to do yeah, further up to the top, of you, like, like us basically, further up to the top of the skin and underneath is in epidermis and flesh and everything I've, else. I've never cut. cut no, no, nor have I. No. <laughs> um, yeah, we haven't tried yet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now we get on to two th materials that there's an often a lot of confusion mm, about. Yeah, to the point where even I'm confused. Now, we did an article on Alcantara in a previous issue. In fact, issue three has got a lot of leather stuff in it anyway. But Alcantara is fully synthetic. Mm. Now, I'm just going to show off my knowledge here because it's about all I can do. Yep. Um, invented in Japan, licensed bought by an Italian company. Yep. It's made any size you like, more or less, any colour you like. Can't yep. be dyed very easily unless you're yep. using fabric colour. Yep. Um, and it's nice and resilient. It's actually really quite cheap. Yep. Um, what it is, uh, but repairing it is an absolute nightmare. nightmare. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but because of the marketing gurus at various uh, manufacturers, they've made it sound mm. like it's an upgrade. Upgrade, um, yeah, yeah. You know, upgrade to a cheaper material. So um, mm. that's that's clever. But everybody, uh, well, a lot of people will say, "Oh, I've got suede seats." Mm. And even I sit there and think, "You haven't got, you haven't suede, got seats. suede seats." Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, what you've got is Alcantara. However, suede. Tell me what. So Alcantara is, is, is synthetic. Yep. Suede. Tell me what suede is. How do you get suede? Basically, suede is like the bottom of the hide. Okay. So the reason why you've got suede is because it's sanded and it's buffed to hide all the imperfections that are in it. So it's almost like veins and things going through it. So when you sort of look at this, whether the cameras could pick it up, on that one you could probably pick it up more. As in the pink uh, one? Yeah, on the, in the pink, yeah, your nice pink one. Um, but so, it's what your dress is made out of, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I can't, I don't want to stand up. No, no. Um, so, don't want to let everybody know. It's too short. Sure. They know we're into leather, but I mean, come on now. That's, uh, <laughs> quite, no, I was surprised. Um, yeah, the, uh, you might really see this, I don't know, you might pick it up on the camera, it depends how good, good it is. is the camera, it's, it's really good. So you, you might see this line running through here, that basically is an imperfection in it and that's why this has been converted, stop sniffing but, um, this is why this has been converted into um, leather, he does like to sniff the leather. Um, so that's why it's been converted into suede because it's hiding up all the imperfections in it. Um, so it's actually a cheaper... It's actually a lot so lesser quality. So again, suede, yeah, yeah, you yeah. think it's, it's yeah, yeah, a high quality yeah. premium product, but yeah. actually it's the bit that connects the skin to the gooey bits. Yeah, in effect. And, yeah, yeah. And, and so and it's, yeah. you're hiding all that up because they're, they're sanding it mm -hmm. to hide up those imperfections because it's not strong enough to use as a car seat leather like this or to go into anything like this because obviously this is natural. Yeah. This has obviously got too many things in it to make it it's too very wet. natural. Yeah, yeah, but you can literally see it. I mean, obviously you can see we've got you know, suede ground here, but you can see all these marks. These are all natural sort of veins running through it, which they have to sand, because if they left them there, they would be like really It'd be horrible. awkward. If you bought yeah. your blue suede shoes, you had a bit of intestine on them. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's the last thing you that's want, really. Cool. And what animal makes blue suede? What animal makes blue suede? Yes, I was always wondered, blue suede well, shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, any animal can make blue suede shoes, because obviously you don't see yellow cows walking around a field, do you? Oh, obviously, yeah. yeah. So it's all, <laughs> it's all dyed. It's surprising right? how many people think that, though. Yeah, yeah, no. But no, not. everything's dyed. Um, so your blue suede well, you'd shoes. Well, so, awkward if you're still alive. And well, alive. yeah, as in, yeah, dyed as in, yeah, natural. Sorry, um, I'm he's, uh, yeah, he's I'm a difficult again. character. Um, yeah, so. The, obviously, leather is all dyed, so okay. it's, th that's how it becomes a colour. Okay, it's amazing, you know, people's myths and beliefs that they think that, you know, you do see these animals walking around in this colour. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. You don't. And if you do, run. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's it? Have we covered this one? What's this? Um, that's basically completely natural. Um, I call it naked leather. Oh, this is the American one. You're yeah, about. it's sort of like an American one. Yes, yeah, completely naked. It's natural. So it's, made, it's made out of Americans. Yeah, uh, completely. Uh, this is actually a really good one to show you what happens. This is obviously from a hot climate, um, and you can sort of see all these here. This is insect bites on here, um, and from the reverse, you can see how you know how the insects and probably ticks and things have embedded their heads into the skin. So it's gone right through. So the animals obviously. It's quite old, this because I know now yeah. you know you can buy sprays of the chemists and stuff. That yeah, stop yeah. It. yeah, yeah, yeah. They stop all that. So yeah, it's, um, I mean again, you can see all the imperfections on here. So that's why something like that would turn into a suede because it's got all the imperfections on. But yeah, it's completely natural. Like your analines, it'll absorb 
everything, but there's no colour on here but it's, whatsoever. Oh, I see. So that is that's there's no colour on that. No, so that's no colour. Color. That's literally the colour that it's as it's tanned and it's produced that colour. Yeah, Crikey. completely natural. Interesting. Um, you know, and that, and that is what we what we call in the trade crust. Crust, crust leather. What a, yeah. what a sexy name that yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, or, or as I call it, naked, because it's got the thing on it. Yeah, it's completely, you know, it's topless. There's nothing on it. It's not like this. Now it's on it. Fair dues, fair dues. Now this Blank. stuff, um, this feels less <laughs> lovely. Tell me yes. what this is. Now that is veg tan leather. Um, it takes a long time to make. It's completely natural. That is, that is actually calf leather. Um, oh, okay. So it's obviously a young young cow, um, and it's. I went to school too. You know? Yeah, good, good, good. Um, <laughs> and this is completely natural. Um, so this is obviously like top grain, like your aniline and like your your crust, completely top, um, and that can be dyed with natural things like bark extract or vegetable extract. So it's, that's where you get like your mulberry handbags and things like that okay. come from. It's bark extracts and stuff so like that. Stuff. Very expensive. Yeah, I mean, obviously this is a full size skin, which is quite huge. Um, mm -hmm. Fill this sort of old hairy area we got here if you were to hang it up. Um, that one is a full size skin as well, and that's probably 200 quid. This is probably 120 quid, and it would fill this sort of whole void here Correct. with the width of it. So you can mm -hmm. imagine it's a full size cow, and it's huge. Yeah, well, cows tend to be smaller than that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's obviously, it's a lot better quality. Gotcha. Lot better quality. That's very natural. When you look through it, because we obviously look through leather with these little things. Um, and oh, quite, yeah, what's that called? Uh, well, this is called a linen tester. Um, the linen tester is um, ideal because you've got a magnifier in and you mm -hmm. can use it to look through like so mm -hmm. um, and you can find all the Sorry, information. Sorry, can you do that again just for Yeah, camera. can I just do it? Okay, just like that. Yep. Is that right? That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you just literally, I mean it's brilliant. Um, but you can use these to identify the leathers as well because you can then see like hair follicles in it so you'll know you're dealing with a much more Ooh. natural leather. Yeah. Or, as we did um, you know, with the uh, wonderful Audi, um, was to show that the seats were actually looked what you can see here, but it was actually cracking. So that can save a technician a lot of embarrassment from scrubbing and causing a problem with the interior. Yeah, um, I, I, I just turned up my old tank of an Audi, and yeah. um, I quite like the leather. It's platinum grey, it's yep, fine. It's lovely. Richard turns up and immediately says, that's rubbish. And I'm yep. like, well, yeah, whatever. And, and then he starts getting things and proves that it's rubbish. So yeah, yeah. with the uh, electronic microscope, yeah. That's so, nice. But yeah. yeah, it just showed that, I mean, even though to the naked eye, it looked absolutely perfect. Um, but unfortunately, when you put the electronic microscope on it, it can look into the leather a bit more, which can mm -hmm. show up dirt in the grain and stuff like that. And it also buys you a ticket to paradise, basically, because it shows the customer what's wrong with the leather. I see. And mm. that's, uh, so then it saves you just spraying it and scrubbing the hell out of it with a brush and creating a massive problem, like gotcha. taking this colour off. Yeah. So. And you thinking it's a stain when it isn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm sure it's a stain. Yeah. Um, this is black Italian leather you were yes, saying earlier. So this Italian, is yep. very soft, and, and this is obviously taken off, off a, 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 a lamb, in fact. Yeah, lamb leather, yeah. Um, but instead of going through the rest of these, what I wanted to know, there are mm. two other terms that come up quite often. Napa. Tell me what Napa is. Well, basically, Napa, it's not what people think it is, which is some weird animal running around the countryside. It's from mm. um, the Californian Napa Valley, mm -hmm. um, and that's where the gentlemen that were creating the leather named it Napa from the Napa Valley, and gotcha. that's literally where the name comes and from. And it's literally just a process. It's just a process through, so. uh, that it goes through. It's just made softer, as you can feel with the lamb Napa, which uh, is with the Italian one. Oh, the Italian one. Um, yeah. And it's just softer, and it almost feels like your, you know, your, your luxury. But you can have a cow Napa, so you can have a full-size cow Napa. It's just a finishing process that people have milked from where it was originally yeah, invented. Really milked, milked yeah. isn't it, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, from where it was originally invented. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> I know. It could end um, a long day. So yes. yeah, so it's just where it was basically originally invented and that's, that's where the term comes from. So of course people use the system. And the other word that I was going to use is, what was it? We, we talked about it before. Nubuck. Nubuck, that's Nubuck, it. yes. And now when you go and buy a new car, if it's a premium sort of German car, uh, you go through the different types of leathers and stuff like that. And one of them, usually the most expensive one, is yep. something called Nubuck. Yep. Now I'm sitting there thinking Nubuck, I think it's like a springbok, but mm. it's sort of you know a nastier creature that you don't mind having covering a car, but apparently not. No, 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 Nubuck, basically it's like a suede, mm -hmm. um, it's just slightly higher up in the area that's right into the flesh, mm -hmm. um, so it's just a slightly better quality. Um, and the reason why they use Nubuck, um, and again, it's not just in, um, are they Nubuck? No, they're just leather. No, they're quite cheap. Um, yes. uh, but, well, you can get a lot of trainers and walking boots are Nubuck. Okay. The reason why they use Nubuck is because it's slightly higher up the chain in the leather thickness of the skin, but because of its waterproofness okay. and its warmth. It's naturally, because it's a lot tighter 
grain, it's a lot, it's fantastic for waterproofing, but allowing it shoes to breathe so you don't end up with very sweaty, smelly feet. And, and you um, can you can do horse nubuck and cow nubuck and pig nubuck. And basically, basically yeah, whatever. Yeah, because yeah, it's just from where it comes from within the skin. It's very easy. Um, yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it, again, it's made into nubuck to hide up infections and stuff like that. But it, it's great, in, uh, they use a hell of a lot in the, um, you know, from the 50s and stuff with the so Teddy Boys big, I, Again, I can't remember the can't you? I'm afraid. I'm glad I um, can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, and anyway, so thank you very much That's Richard okay, for no giving problem. us this, this yep. whistle frock. We actually even have something to give away. So Richard, can you pass us uh, your two bottles and the two little brushes? Yep. Um, we're only giving away one of the brushes, but I want to tell you about them both. Hmm. So um, we have something here called a Tampo... Tampico. Tampico. Now I, for a long time, uh, when you go to a zoo, there's always an animal called something like a tapioca or a Tampico or something, <laughs> and it's got a long nose, and I thought that's really brutal because just because it's not a very interesting animal to do they have <laughs> yeah. to cut it up and put it into brushes. Yeah, yeah. Turns out it's got nothing to do with that. It's no. actually from a cactus yep. um, and they're hollow tuned brushes so when it gets really soggy in, in cactus land um, they go a bit softer and it retains the water and then they harden up when it dries out. So the ta the, the, that one, the Tampico, Tampico. Yep. Um, gets soft when it's wet but then hardens up when it dries up. Um, whereas you found a synthetic sort of bristle. Mm. They came up because the Tampico is absolutely fantastic and we've had the Tampico for years and I mean everybody will know how good the Tampico is, they're brilliant um, for cleaning, he's going to start sniffing the leather again. Um, they, they know how good the Tampico is for um, cleaning because it gets yep. right into the grain and it lifts all the dirt out. Good penetration. Um, yes, um, stop that. Um, as Bert said they're hollow fibres but when they get wet they do go quite, they do reasonably soft. Mm -hmm. So they don't work quite as effectively, but still effective. Now we then searched the market and scoured and had this brush made for us, the um, called the Brucal. Sounds um, like a relative you don't want to mention. <laughs> yeah, the Brucal Maxi, and we have the Brucal Mini, um, which is a smaller version, a bit like this one. Um, and the Brucal comes from Brush and Clean, BR. You and CLE from mm -hmm. Clean Brush, so that's why we invented it and called it the Brucal. Um, and it's a synthetic material, but the fibres stay a little bit more rigid than what these do when these are soft. Gotcha. So it cleans better, but it also, what's quite interesting with it, it actually makes the cleaner foam. Okay. So, so, so it's very uh, unique, um, which is something we didn't expect, yeah. but it literally makes it foam, which yeah. makes the foam dwell on the surface longer to lift the dirt even easier, so you're actually using the brush less. That's cool. Yep. So, so yeah, in Tampico, it is starts hard, Tampico. goes soft. Tampico. Yep. Uh, this one starts medium and stays medium. And stays medium, absolutely. Cool. Cool. Yep. There in we go. Shell. Um, so what we're doing is giving away a brucal, um, uh, Tampico mode, um, and then we have the protection cream. Now, protection cream won the mega test. It feels like an old school leather cream that you would apply in the olden days, but it performs like a new school high tech product. Now, um, you've got lots of other sort of longer lasting products and the rest of it, but we tested this mega test. We liked it lots. Uh, it was a remarkable product, um, and it, the only thing that I think offered more protection was a silicon boast based mm. one, yeah. which you don't necessarily want to be using. So no. we felt this was good. So you get a big, big old bottle of this. It's 500. Uh, and then before you apply that you want to clean it and again we got this this did well in the mega test I think it was top three in the cleaning department mm. um, and again it was quite nice and mild so it cleaned lots of stuff without feeling that you were putting anything like ammonia for example on your leather so what we're doing is giving these away I believe these are worth 25 quid as a yes, pair 25 yeah um, and you even get a free mini trigger yep um, and uh, and a brucal um, and what we want to do is get a picture of your most original picture of a leather interior yep. or something leather. Should we say yeah. something leather? Something leather, yeah. Something leather um, that you've cleaned. very imaginative. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually, that's good. We're going to be in trouble. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Be. So if you could address all entries to Her Majesty's Prison Service. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, post on the thread uh, with a picture of your kind of the sexiest leather interior or something like that. Yep. That's going to get us in more trouble now. Yes. Um, and we will uh, pick a winner by some sort of egalitarian, democratic, happy go lucky sort of way. Yep. Um, and we should She'll pass all these off from our little HQ in mm. Siren Sister. Yep. Anyway, we've done enough rambling. Thank mm. you very much. Okay. Thank you very well. Thank you very much. And you enjoyed it. Um, as I say, uh, do look up on the Leather Repair Company website and all the different bits and bobs that they've got. Lots of interesting things going on. And I'm sure Richard will be involved in magazine yes. articles and stuff yeah. like that moving forward. Yeah. We will. Certainly. Great. Have Thank a good one. Cheers.